welcome children in the previous session i have started the poem the hero and discuss the young boy's imagination he imagines that while traveling with his mother across a deserted wasteland he is attacked by bandits today i'll discuss the rest of the poem i shout have a care you villains one step more and you are dead man the boy wants them not to come one step nearer if you come nearer surely i'll kill you one step more and you are dead man means surely i will kill you they give another terrible yell and rush forward without heeding his warning they rush forward with a big shout you clutch my hand and say dear boy for heaven's sake keep away from them the boy imagines his mother holding tightly onto his hand in fear and asking him to retreat my child don't fight with this kind of people you keep away from them i say mother just you watch me in turn the boy tells her to just watch how he deals with the bandits how i will deal with them you just watch i will show you what i can do then i spur my horse for a wild gallop and my sword and buckler clash against each other he imagines urging his horse forward at such a fast gallop that his sword and shield clash against each other sword and shield clash against each other means he started fighting with this bandits buckler means round shield is called a buckler the fight becomes so fearful mother that it would give you a cold shudder could you see it from your palanquin he tells his mother that then the fight becomes so fearful that if she had seen it from her palanquin she would have shuddered in fear she would have trembled with the fear if she had seen that scene from her palanquin many of them fly and a great number are cut to pieces the boy says that many of the bandits run away and a great many are cut to pieces means many of the bandits were killed by him i know you are thinking sitting all by yourself that your boy must be dead by this time but i come to you all stained with blood and say mother the fight is over now he says he knows his mother must be sitting all by herself all alone thinking that her son has been killed by the bandits but he goes to her all stained with blood all stained with blood means his sword and his body all were stained with blood and tells her that the fight is over and tells her yes i have defeated my enemies and i am here you come out and kiss me pressing me to your heart and if you say to yourself i don't know what i should do if i had in my boy to escort me then the boy imagines his mother coming out and kissing him pressing him to her heart hugging him tightly and saying to herself that she does not know what she would have done if she had not had her son to escort her to accompany her if her son hadn't been there she doesn't know what she would have done a thousand useless things happen day after day and why couldn't such a thing come true by chance then coming back to reality the boy regretfully says that so many pointless dull uninteresting things happen day after day in our lives and wishes that something like the adventure he imagined would happen in his life also it would be like a story in a book if it happens it would be as exciting and thrilling like a story in a book my brother would say is it possible i always thought he was so delicate 
his brother would be surprised and would no longer think the boy was too delicate or weak now his brother also will think that this boy is a brave one our village people would all say in amazement was it not lucky that the boy was with his mother the village would also would be amazed and say that the mother was very lucky to have her son with her if he hadn't been there she would have been in great danger i have already told you that this poem is written in the form of a dramatic monologue what do you mean by a dramatic monologue a poem which has a persona or speaker and an implied audience or listener is known as a dramatic monologue the poet speaks through a character a fictional identity or a person to a listener also known as the auditor in this poem the child is the persona or speaker and the mother is the audience or listener okay children learn the poem by heart and write the poem with the punctuation marks in your copy